I got this beginner set of water mixable oils at last with a package of six different pigments. Only the titanium white is kind of toxic, so do not eat it. The package contains a couple of booklets. This one is very useful if you are beginning to paint with oils. I will leave photos of its pages on Patreon if you want to check them deeply. As you can see, it contains very technical information about the pigments. And what I found interesting was, for example, the drying times. Each drying time is different for each pigment, so it can take from two days and over to five days or more. The water mixable oils dry through oxidation and water evaporation, a process that can take weeks or even months, the same as oil paints. To accelerate or to reduce the drying time, Winsor & Newton have products suitable for water mixable oils, except liquid. It recommends as well special types of varnish, like gloss, satin or matte, all suitable for water mixable oils. The beginner set recommends 6 to 12 different pigments to develop our understanding and use of colors. Although I agree with this philosophy, I would have chosen different colors for a beginner set. If you are interested, I am listing the basic color palette that I would use on Patreon too. So let's start with this beginner's set and identifying the colors that we have here. For instance, here we have phthalo green, yellow ochre, titanium white, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, and cadmium yellow pale hue. So that you know, all of them are series 1, which means they are more affordable and synthetic, in difference than series 2, which are more expensive because they are made with uh, authentic minerals. Now I can't wait to open this box at last. So let's give it a try, shall we? Every time I try out new pigments, I like to create a color wheel with them, so that I can compare them. By the way, if you want to know how to make a sketchbook for oils using HESO, there is a tutorial in my Patreon as well, if you want to check that out. So how it is possible to mix oil paint with water? The traditional oil paint is mixed with linseed oil and safflower oil. In Winsor & Newton water mixable oils, only the mediums, Linseed and safflower oil were modified so that they could mix and clean up with water. I am not going to lie to you guys, I feel a bit nervous about this idea of mixing oil pigments with water, that it's almost physically impossible, and I am amazed of how buttery and soft these pigments feel to the touch. What I am loving already about this paint is that it's not necessary to use turpentine, minerals or white spirits and that is convenient if you work in a small studio or if you share space with other colleagues. An issue would be if you want to work with these water or mixable oils professionally, you might need more mediums like stand oil to delay the drying process or fast drying mediums or varnishes. Although Winsor & Newton also have these, these mediums as well, it is an extra expense that you have to take into account. I didn't see in the booklet that this edition of water mixable oils included liquid, which is one of my favorite mediums to paint because it helps the painting dry within one day to the other. So maybe I will have to run some tests using liquid with water mixable oils to see what happens, I don't know, maybe that's the solution. 
If you are considering to switch to water mixable oils, you will need to buy the mediums suitable for them, unless you decide to paint only using oil and water, but just consider that the time you need to dry your painting would be from 6 months to 1 year before it dries completely and before you can add the final varnish. Another thing that you need to take on account is to wait until the first layer is dry before you add more layers over it. If not, the color film beneath it can break and this is one of the golden rules of oil painting. To paint fat over lean, which means first you need to add the thinner layers and then you add more pigment. As you can see, the pigments look and feel just like normal oils. I would say that if you add normal oils at the side of their water mixable pairs, you would get the same hue and the same intensity. I don't know if you can see in the video, but let me show you how it looks like against the light. As you can see, it is shiny as normal oil paint. Also, the cleaning part was easier than I expected. I used only water and soap to clean the paintbrush and the palette, and it came out really easily. Just a general advice, always clean your material after using, because when the oil dries, it is super difficult to scratch off and it can damage your paintbrushes and your palette. I still believe that there is more space to explore, but I, it will be along with practice. If you guys want to try this edition too, I would like to know what you think of them and if you prefer to use them over normal oils. Before I go, I want to give a big thanks to my dear patrons who helped me buy this new material and also thank you for being an amazing community to share and to learn together. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!